Hello everyone. So my name is Vipul Jain and today in this video I am going to talk about summary dashboard in Power Apps. So basically how you can create a dashboard using graph controls in Power Apps. That's what we are going to see today in this video. So this is kind of a graph which I am going to show you today how you can create it in Power Apps which has the functionality of filtering the data. Uh, and using the show data button, you can filter the data in this graph. You have the export functionality. You can export the data in CSV file. And at the same time, there is a button reset. If you click on the reset button, then the graph data will be reset. And again, some labels at the below today, total records and filtered records. So that is the kind of a summary dashboard or summary report, which you can prepare for your clients based on some data. Here, the data source I am using is a SharePoint list. And for exporting the data, I will be showcasing you a Power Automate flow, which I have created, where I am creating the CSV table, first of all, taking the input from the Power Apps, creating the CSV table, creating the file uh, in the SharePoint library, and finally sending the file URL back to the Power Apps, so that when the user will click on this export button, the file will be downloaded locally on the user system. So that is the summary of this video. Let's see this in action in Power Apps. So this is the Power Apps screen uh, I am in. You can see this is the Power Apps uh, Studio where uh, I have the summary dashboard. You can see total records, which is showing 22 in my case, filtered records at zero and Let's say if I filter something based on some data, for example, from 17th of April till 20th of April, if I click on show data, the data should get uh, filtered and you can see the data gets filtered. I can see one item has rejected, two items has released based on the status. So everything, these kind of status uh, I am maintaining at the back end in a SharePoint list. So let me navigate you first of all to the SharePoint list to see the structure what list I have created. So this is the SharePoint list, which I'm using for this particular demo or video, which is the summary dashboard. I have columns like title, created, form status, approved date, project start date, project end date, and so on. Here precisely, I will be focusing on this form status, which is a choice column in this list, having some values like released, accepted, rejected, submitted, saved, saved being the default value of this column. And I will be comparing the data uh, because you must have seen the filter. I have prom date and to date filter. So I am comparing the created date based on for these uh, filters. And based on that, I will be showcasing or filtering the data in this graph. So that is how we are going to uh, implement the summary dashboard. Now, let me uh, tell you the exact implementation or actual implementation how I implemented it. So this is a screen which I created for summary dashboard, some kind of headers. So this I have done the grouping, some headers, which you already know, which I have already showcased in my previous videos. Now coming to the real part of this video, how I created this graph and so on. So first of all, to tell you that this graph, this is a composite graph. So when you go to insert, all right, and you search here, uh, maybe for graph or graph kind of a control, which is already available, in Power Apps. So uh, please remember that I have not taken that control. I have taken only the graph part of that control. Let me show you that. So here, if you search for graph, okay, or maybe you go to uh, probably some charts. All right. So you see here column chart. So column chart is a kind of a composite control. Okay. So let me show you. Let me add a new screen. I have added a new screen just to showcase and for the testing purpose. And on this new screen, which is a screen four, if I want to add the chart, which is a column chart. So I've added a column chart here. You see this kind of chart gets added by default. All right. Now, if I go to the screen and show you the chart, which has been added, you see it's a composite column chart. It's a composite chart having the legend as well, having the title as well and the actual chart. So in my video, I have only copy pasted this kind of chart only i have not taken any legend and i have not taken any title so this is just for the testing purpose so let me delete this screen now because we don't want it coming back to the actual screen so first of all this is the chart 
for this i have uh, created a collection collection of collection request count okay so let me navigate you to the app on start property first of all so i'll go to app on start this is my app on start here i created a collection clear collect of unique statuses and i am doing for all distinct project details give me the res uh, result based on the form status value form status is a kind of a column which i showed you form status is a kind of a column in my sharepoint list at the same time i have created a collection collection of request count and here i am counting the rows and filtering again the same list based on the form status value so this is in the app on start so uh, now coming to the filtering part which is show data again on the show data what i am doing is that i am filtering the results so i am again creating a collection which is filtered result filtered result is the name of the collection here what i am doing is that in the project details i am filtering the data based on the comparison so what i am doing is created date is greater than equal to the from date the from date is this one which is the from date created date is greater than equal to from date and created date is less than equal to to date so that is the condition filter condition which i have written on this show data button now coming to the export button export button as i mentioned that i have created a power automate flow so i have called the power automate flow here you can see uh, power automate flow which i have called uh, let me show here yeah so my power automate flow is summary dashboard hyphen export this is the power automate flow dot run i am passing the filtered data in the json format to the power automate flow and let me navigate to the power automate flow now here you see this i am taking from the power apps creating the csv table creating the file in sharepoint document library and then returning the file url as the output of this power automate flow this output is taken in the power apps you see here dot file url so this is the output which is taken from the power power uh, automate and finally i am downloading the file so that is how the functionality which i have implement uh, implemented let me uh, let me run uh, on start again so that i have all the data you can see total records it is showing currently 22 currently it is showing 22 results filtered records are four so if you if i go to the list you see total records are 22 only in my list so let me run this again uh, let me i have already uh, filtered the data filtered records are four if i go to export if i click on export uh, button the file will be uh, exported locally and it will be downloaded in my local system so file has been a csv file has been created and definitely i can see the data the four records which i have uh, filtered in my summary dashboard so uh, basically i will say this is a very good way of representation of data for your customers your customers may like this kind of uh, representation maybe the senior management and for analytics you can definitely create these kind of summary dashboards i will say in power apps Thank you.